Last time we checked out manga covers, the best ones. Today, we're checking out Shonen, only volume one. Uh, what about JJK volume 10 where Gojo says, nah, I'd win. No, we're not doing that. Starting with Full Metal Alchemist. What are we thinking, guys? What are we thinking? Would I get this? Uh, uh, would I get this if I knew nothing about manga? I knew nothing about anime. I just ended up in a manga store. To me, it's manga right now, right? I don't know what manga is. I don't know what Japan is. Would you buy it or not? Would I buy this? You know what? I would. I like the name Full Metal. I've always liked the font a full metal alchemist i love the word alchemist makes me think there's alchemy in it right and this metal i like the gloves kind of reminds me of like mario with blonde hair and then you got this figure in the back which i know is al alfonzi alfonso whatever the fuck his name is but let's say i didn't know i just think it was like the iron giant and i love the iron giant this looks cool to me i would actually get this it sells me on the idea of it but i feel like it could sell me more so i'm gonna give it a b mm. Gintama! What do you mean volume one mids? Why would I start on volume 10? Of course I start on volume one. I'm all about astrology. Not astrology. What the fuck I'm saying? I hate astrology. That's the biggest red flag for someone to have. I love space. Interstellar. My favorite movie of all time. This reminds me of Interstellar. He's flying. He has like a samurai sword. He has cool white hair or blue. It's kind of like icy. I love the logo. You know what? I get it. I give this an A. I don't care what anybody says. This is a solid A to me. I like this cover better than a full metal one. Ooh, what? Full Full Metal's way better than get- I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm talking about the cover, motherfucker. The fuck is this a Happy Meal? I think this is a McDonald's anime. A McDonald's book. The lore on McDonald's. The lore of the chicken nuggets. The lore on the Happy Meal. Where it started. Who's the antagonist of McDonald's? Fuck Ronald McDonald. I was always scared of his predator ass. This could be the greatest story of all time. This could be lore as deep as the Bible. I would not buy this. It looks deep. Like, why would they make it so simple, right? They have to make it simple because of how complex it is probably in the story. But I fucking hate reading. So I don't care about the story at this point. Judging a book by its cover. That's what I'm doing. It's clean. Yeah, it's clean. It's not eye catching. Exactly. Bro, you, you said it right as I said it. It's not eye catching. Holy shit. You literally pre watched the stream. I'd give this a D. And no, I wouldn't buy it. Don't judge a book by its cover. No, we are judging by its cover. That's the point of this fucking video. I don't even know to add this or not. Is Attack on Titan Shonen? What do you mean, yes, stupid? How the fuck am I supposed to know? I don't even know what Shonen means. Hassan said AOT is Mecca. We don't listen to Hassan, okay? If Hassan said it's Mecca, I don't care if it's Mecca. It's not Mecca anymore. Would I get this? Yeah, I would get it. It kind of reminds me of David versus Goliath in this image, right? The Rey Mysterio versus the Big Show. It's like, how is this guy gonna defeat this monster? Attack on Titan. I notice attacks and I notice Titans. I'll give this uh, a B. Spy Family. I'm not a Spy Family fan. It's not my 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 slice of life, if you, if you know what I mean, right? It doesn't tell you much exactly, but I like that. It's very simple, but unlike the McDonald's one, this one's very different. I like the color in the background. I like the look he's giving me. He's a spy. I've always love spies my entire life i love spies anybody that knows what spy versus spy is mad comics i love spies and i'd actually get this this is a c cover but it's a definite yes to me to buy right it's not the best cover i'm not just buying it for the name spy but i'm also buying it because the cover sells me a bit on it i like the gun in his hand i like the gloves i like how handsome he looks see this is why i can't listen to music bro this is why it throws me off this is an S. This is the first S, and I will tell you why, right? It's so fucking fun. I love pirates. I love treasures. I love how colorful and alive this cover is, bro. You have this green hair character with chugging a beer, a seagull playing along, a guy in a sombrero and flip flops. There's a map as the background. This sells me. I'd 100% buy this. I'm biased towards the ocean and pirate era shit, right? I am definitely into this shit. The East Blue, One Piece, definitely. And I fucking love the logo. All right, first and foremost, rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. I'm gonna tell you all right off the bat, I fucking love dragons and I love ball. No, I'm joking, I don't love balls. But I used to play ball. This is just as colorful as the One Piece cover. <laughs> right? I'm giving this an S tier. And I'm not giving this an S tier because he passed away. I would have said that. Even if he didn't pass away, I would have said this, right? I love this shit with all my heart. I love the colors. Will I ever watch Dragon Ball? Probably not, right? The dragon sells me. I'm the first one to hate on furries, but I don't mind this. I love superhero shit when I was a kid. That's when Marvel was good. 
That's when DC was, it was finding its spot, right? Teenager me, ch kid me, I definitely get this. But adult me, I wouldn't because I think it's a little cringe, right? I know what y'all gonna say. Uh, you'd get Dragon Ball, but you wouldn't get this. Yeah, I would. This cover just doesn't do it for me. I would think if I grabbed this, I would think it's for kids. I know that's probably stupid to say after the Dragon Ball cover. I'm gonna give it a C and I'm not buying it. And I love my hero. Before those motherfuckers jump off a bridge because I said that, I love my hero. But I'm gonna give this a solid C. <laughs> this fucking face it doesn't do it for me bro this scares me all that this tells me is that this is about basketball he has blue hair i'm gonna give this a d the reason why i'm not giving it an f is because it somewhat tells me what it's about it's about basketball but it's not interesting enough for me to buy it i am not buying this shit and if you said you'd buy it i don't fucking believe you seeing this fucking dopey face he doesn't even look like this in the anime does he why does he have that face dude i can draw a better cover all right let's not go that far okay listen man i'm gonna be honest with you this looks a little, how do I word this? Like it doesn't attract a teenage boy, you know, that's into like uh, 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 anime and video games and blood and shit, you know what I mean? It looks a little too colorful for me, right? Like I feel like a girl would pick this up and she would love it. It looks a little girly. I guess the pink throws me off a bit. Yeah, this doesn't do it for me, guys. I'm gonna say a no and I'm gonna give it a C. S. I fucking love this. It reminds me of the One Piece cover for some reason. But I love this style so much. The character designs are sick. The clothes. The fucking rocks. The cover itself. The background. It has like that mountain layer in the background, bro. Even the logo fairy tale. I'm telling you, this could have went the opposite direction. Fairy tale. It could have been all colorful and with, with fucking pixie dust and cotton candy all over the place. I would have said, fuck that. This I'm buying. It gets an S from me. This looks like so much fucking fun, bro. I'm not even lying. No matter what age I am, I am buying this shit, dude. It looks like a store clerk. He has no mouth, but he has a gun, a Glock in his hand. They look like they're store clerks protecting it from, like, gangs and shit. Or, like, a tribe that's invading them. Or looters. Maybe this takes place in, like, Philly or some shit. Or just New York in general. And they're defending. They're defending it, bro. Against these rioters and shit. Who knows? I'm gonna give this an S. This shit is so fun. And this is what I want from my covers. I want something that tells me this story is interesting. It's fucking crazy. And you're gonna love it. This attracts me immediately. Sakamoto days, you get an S. An S for Sakamoto. More like Sakamoto. I'd suck it. As a cover, there's a lot going on in this picture, right? You could tell there's a there's a there's a story. I'm not talking about the kids. Don't 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 make it fucking weird. The cover I give an A. Would I buy it? No. Now I would, because I know the promise Neverland's really good. I know I'd probably love the story. Y'all just said season two is fucking garbage. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. If I know nothing about anime and manga, I'm not gonna buy a story with a bunch of children looking at me and the little girl is trying to get me to hold her hand. 100 percent Yes. This is quadruple S tier. This is probably no, nah, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I think my favorite's either fairy tale one piece it looks like a throne of skulls in the background you had this demon the cross the, the black in the background the character in the middle has a scythe this looks awesome bro death note S. I definitely picked this up just to read it and he's not holding a weapon at all. This is where my bias kicks in. The only thing stopping this from being an S is I feel like they could do more with it. It's called Kaiju. You already got me. Then I see the monster. I think the monster looks cool. To me, it's probably a human inside of that monster. He transforms into it. Some ah, some errant shit. You know what I mean? That's my perspective of it. I feel like that's probably what happens. That's my guess. And he's a city in the background. Exactly. And he's a fucking city. And he's bodies on the floor. I love the monster design. I'm giving this an A. And I can't wait to watch the anime. And uh, drop it if it doesn't get enough views. All right, what are we doing next? <laughs> You're my childhood, right? I still remember elementary school. I'd rush to school. This is the only time in my life I'd rush to school. I'd rush to school with my new deck. New cards. I created my own new deck. It was Nicholas's deck. And I'd play against my friends. We'd have a table. We'd have a lot because it was like morning school. It was like two hours before school started. They allowed the kids to come in earlier. We'd just sit at that fucking table. And we'd go around. The one kid that was the best, he was like an Indian kid with glasses. He was, <laughs> he was like a little, he was so fucking smart and so good at Yu-Gi-Oh. And his rich parents always bought him the good cards. Fucking bastards. They bought his skill. That's what they did. They bought the fucking battle pass in every rank. Yeah, I I'd be so hyped to fight this little Indian bastard, and then i lose. So I got the other Indians, and we became the best friends, bro. We became the best friends. I became Indian. But, um, I'm not buying this. I'm giving this a D. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give y'all two sides of this. From zero years old 
to 24 years old, I would not buy this because I fucking hated wizards. I hated Harry Potter. I hated people that talked about it. I was a Star Wars Lord of the Rings kid. This just looks like Harry Potter to me. But I've watched Harry Potter since I've like met Liv and I love it. Now I would buy it. It's an A for me now and I would buy it. This is me. If there was any cover that said Nicholas Light, S, fuck yes. This is the first fuck yes, okay? Everything about this is fucking rad. The chainsaw arms, the chainsaw head, he has a tie on, he's standing on bodies that look like they're ripped apart. This looks so fucking cool with the orange background and the green splatter. No. Nope. I am sorry. This is a D for me. I don't want to give anything an F unless it's fucking trash, right? But this is close to it for me. <laughs> this is really close to F for me. I never watched Yu Yu Hakusho, and I'd never read it either. It looked like he had a thong on his head. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. It's like a grown-ass man that has a thong on his head with a little girl looking at him. This is getting unfair at this point. Motherfucker said D. Get out, bro! What are you, what are you capping about? What? D! Gege Ukatami. His art style for JJK... Oh, I want a deep throat the style, bro. One of the things I love most about JJK is the art style. And as much as I love the anime style, especially for season two, the manga is even better. From the fucking panels I've seen, I saw Mahito's panel where he, where he does the domain expansion. Oh my God, dude. This is an S to me and I'm buying it. All right. People are gonna think I'm hating, but like, I'm getting a headache looking at this because of how bright it is. Like, I don't even wanna look at it. God, I wanna put on dark mode on it, bro. I don't like Ichigo's face. I'm giving this a C. It just tells me he's a guy with a sword, and then I see the name Bleach, and I'm like, what the fuck does Bleach have to do with it? The fact that the ball is right by his dick. <laughs> What's it telling me? That his balls are basketballs? This is way better than the Kuroko Basketballo manga cover, okay? This is like JoJo basketball, bro. I love the style of it. I love that jacket. I love the hair. And it's a basketball. If I were to pick one basketball manga, it would be this one. It's a white background. I don't know why, but this one gives me more of a headache than this one. I think because there's, the white is more visible here. Like, there's more negative space here compared to this one. It's like, this guy just takes up the whole fucking cover. His shoulders. You know what? His shoulders are, are bigger than Ichigo. I'd give this a B. It's simple, yes, but it has style, bro. It tells me when I open this fucking book, it's gonna be masterpiece after masterpiece. It's just gonna be constant fucking art to shift through. It just looks interesting to me. He's 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is an average 15 year old in Japan, guys. Did you know? I love food, but I wouldn't. But, dude, the detail on that food is fucking gorgeous. Oh my god, you could like see it sizzling. When I was a kid or a teenager, no. I'm not buying a fucking book about food. I'm sorry. Do I look like a cook? I'm gonna give this an A. Just for that 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 plate alone, this is an A because this tells me how detailed this, this, this manga probably is. And would I buy it? No, I'm not gonna buy it because I'm not interested in a food story, you know what I mean? But then again, it's anime, it's manga, so they probably make it so fucking interesting. Guys, I know you fucking hate Demon Slayer, I know a lot of you do, but we're not talking about the story, we're not talking about the incredible animation, right? I love demons, and I love slayers. I love how serious he looks, and then, the, and then she, little Nesco, I don't know if that's Nesco, little Nesco's crying, but I don't know if she's trying to bite him, or is she crying? Is she she's supposed to be crying in this picture, right? I'm gonna give this an A because it sells me on it. And that's the job of a manga cover. I'm sorry. But why would you make a shit cover? Don't you want to sell it to people? You know what I mean? You think the worst art styles are the best? First JJK, then this, bro. How do you not like JJK's art style? Are you fucking serious? I'm giving this an A. Going from Demon Slayer to Black Clover. Two of y'all's favorite animes. All of you. All of you. Your top three, Demon Slayer. Black Clover and My Hero. That's your top three. That's like 100% of y'all's top three. I know I said I hate magic and shit. I hate wizards. I'm fucking racist against Harry Potter. I'd give this a C. I like the shape of the sword. I like the character designs. I like the detail on the hand and the book. Would I buy it? No, I wouldn't. This would stay on the fucking shelf, right? This would stay right next to Kuroko Basketballo. Baka, man. This is an S. We're talking about detail. We're talking about fucking talent, bro. I would get this just for the style alone. I don't even care what it's about. I just buy it to look at it. I wouldn't even read. Say what you want about me. Look at this cover as if you know nothing about it. You don't even know what Naruto is. You're looking at this as its own thing. You've never seen it before. You never heard of Japan. You never heard of manga. You never heard of shit. You're looking at this cover. Brand new. What are you giving this? I'm giving this. 
A B. I'm giving it a B. I'm giving it a B for Boruto. I'd actually buy this. You have a kid with blue hair with a bird? Is the bird part of him? You have a little kid with long yellow hair and, 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 and what I would think would be a knife in his hand? You have little Sasuke in the back? You have a fucking cat in the tree? His foot is on the logo, so it tells me he's a bit of an asshole. I would definitely buy it. Y'all giving it a D. You just fucking hate him. I'm giving it a B and I would buy it. Oh, you, you like Boruto? I mean, you gave it a higher level than uh, Food Wars? Okay, now this is a fucking S. Uh, you know what? I'm giving this a C. This is an S. Wait, wait, wait. Why y'all put an S? Oh, oh, you're giving Boruto an S? Look, 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 look. Yeah, you're giving Boruto an S. Yeah, I see y'all recognize talent. Shit, now I know how y'all really feel. I don't even know what he's Naruto's doing. Is that even possible to do with your arms? Oh my god. This looks new. Compared to everything we've, we saw today, this looks like the newest one. And I'm giving this an S. I told you I love this character. I love his head. Is his head. I love his... Fuck, bro. I love his, his character design. I love his hair. Nick, guess his age? I don't know, like 10,000? This is an S and I'm buying it. I feel like you could do so much more with this cover. I know what you're gonna say. Uh, you like Death Note edgy, but you don't like th th this looks... Like, if I was a girl, like a girl that was into bad boys, I feel like I'd definitely pick this one up. Like, oh, look at the hottie. He's so bad. He's a bad. He has fangs and shit. Eh, it's a little too... It's not my style. I'm not really into exorcism and exorcist shit. I'd give this a D. Hunter Hunter is my third favorite anime of all time. I'm giving this a C. I would never buy this. Never in a fucking million years would I buy this smiling ass kid sitting on a giant fucking frog. But the funny part is, the story within it does not give you these vibes. Then you open it, you're like, oh wait, there's a predator that shoots gum out of his fingertips. And, and there's murder. You take the hunter exam, this, they're murdering people, and it's crazy. Is this frog in the fucking anime at all? Dude, compare this to the Chimera Ant arc. Wow. God damn, dude. S. It has so much style to this. It tells me nothing about when I'm fucking opening the book. You open the book. Oh, no! Uh, you have fucking JoJo fighting the sun. Dio kicking the dog. Like, this tells you nothing. So I'd be mind-fucked opening that book. Oh, my God! <laughs> <sighs> this just does nothing for me. The title reminds me of like a drink. Like it's advertising like orange juice or something. You know what I mean? This is for me, bro. This doesn't sell me at all. It's either a C or a D. I had no interest in volleyball before I watched Haikyuu, right? Haikyuu not only entered my top five, but it's one of the best experiences I've had watching a story. It is so fucking fun. I hate sports, but I love anime sports now. I love Blue Lock. High is on another fucking level to me. Before I watch High Q, would I buy a book about volleyball? Fuck no. The cover itself, the shoe, yes. I was gonna say that exactly, Brashante. The fucking shoes are so beautiful to look at. I could just look at those shoes all day. I'm giving this a B. Not an A, not an S. It's definitely not an A to me or an S. Would I buy it? No. Now I would. Now I would, knowing what it is. I would, but no, I wouldn't buy it because I don't give a fuck about volleyball. This is too much to me. This is too much. It just looks too glowy to me. I don't want to say it looks AI generated. Like, I feel like that's disrespectful towards uh, Yamamoto. Yamamoto, Yamamoto. God damn, that's a name. To me, a definite no, I'm not buying it. As a cover, I'm giving it a D. Ugh, this cover does nothing for me. Honestly, like I would never pick this up. It just but 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 I know this is one of the best. This is one of the goats, right? I'd give it a C. <laughs> the fucking dog. Oh my god. Keep please. Run dog, run. Oh my god. Get the fuck out of this book. Jump off the page. Please. There's a home for you here. I'll never forget that scene, bro. I love the character designs. The dog is so fucking goofy looking, bro. No wonder why it gets kicked. And then it's called Phantom Blood. Bizarre adventure. It tells me this is bizarre. Like, this is gonna be scary. This is why they explain so much shit in the titles of animes. Now I know why. Because they're trying to sell you the fucking anime with the title because sometimes the art isn't enough. I'm giving this an S. And then you open the book and, uh, yeah, you're in for a fucking adventure, all right? Got some bonus ones. Motherfucker says, oh, hell no. <laughs> Ha ha ha.
Why the fuck is he called Barefoot Jen? What are these birds doing on him? Why is he smiling at them at like this? And what in God's fucking name is this? I know what they're going for. It's very old. This looks like it's from the fucking 70s, right? This gets a D for me, dude. I'm not giving them a D. I'm not. I don't go that way. But this is fucking creepy. I don't even want to look at it anymore. S. Everything about this, bro. Look at the ripples in the shirts. In, in her shirt. Look at the the ass line. Oh my god, the city. Look at look at the detail on on, on the the skyscraper, bro. Don't even ask me how I found these. Would I get this? No. It looks boring. The art is like an S, but the cover it doesn't do it for me. So I'm gonna give it a C. Guys, who did it better? It's French. Oh yeah, voici on the français. C. Yeah, I see it in the back. Once again, rest in peace, Toriyama. This is the most basic cover, but it doesn't have to be anything more than basic. Like you said, it's like a Pokemon-ass cover. Could the logo be a little better? It's a little too basic. Like, the S and L are just, just slanted a bit, right? Um, I'd give this a B. I love how simple it is. It does its job. Would I buy it? No. Act age. A lot of you motherfuckers need to start acting your age. I love how detailed the eyes are. Would I buy this? Fuck no. I'm gonna give this a C. It's a beautiful cover. Like, I have to say the eyes are beautiful, but it's a no for me. The fuck out of here. Get out! I'm gonna give this the first double S tier. No, I'm gonna give, this is a fucking F. This is an F if I've ever seen an F. Why is his thigh so thick? I drew this in fourth grade. <laughs> Guys, what's better? This one or, or the Boruto cover? <laughs> Y'all are fucking haters, bro! No, 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 this is a boring cover, man. This is a D to me, bro. It's better, it's better than this. But this doesn't do anything for me. Like, what is this? I don't know what it says. Oh, God, the fucking titties. Ah, oh, shit. The titties bounce back, bro. Before I met Liv, yes. Now, no. I have all the... I need. I don't, I don't need them anymore. I don't need this. But um, this is how you sell your fucking covers to guys, okay? Any girls in here, y'all? Would y'all buy this? No. Bro, I see some guys say no. Unless that's the way you sway. I don't know, bro. Yeah, I wouldn't get this. But titties. So I'll give it a T. I'll give it a T. T tier. Holy shit. That is the. That's hairier than me. Bo 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 bo. I'd buy it just because of that title. Let's be real. This is the coolest cover ever, man. This is the hairiest cover. I heard every panel comes with a p follicle of hair inside of it. The fucking mangaka shaves and he puts it in the in, in the book. Why is it was Zoro's childhood? And then Misa Misa in the back? What the fuck is this? What is he, a wife beater? Is that why he's putting his fist up? What is this, like a, a couple with their little green-haired baby? Why is it green? I wouldn't get it. It just does nothing for me. I'd give it a C. What the fuck? Why did I pick this? I know it's like not good quality, guys, but what the fuck is this? Why does she have a little boy in her backpack? This little fucking predator. What is she holding? A toothbrush? Wait, is he a giant? She a giant or is he a midget? I would never fucking buy this, bro. I'd give this a B and I'm not buying this. The fuck does Chopper have his own story too? We went from the uh, fucking Zoro anime's baby to Chopper. I don't know what it is. Is it an animal or is it a little man? Oh, Hitman Reborn. He's a Hitman. Dude's holding a Glock. He's all dripped out. I'm giving this an A. This is the best one. This wins best one for me. I'm sorry. And this is just shown in part one. <laughs>